Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So an article came out about a week ago which really caught my eye because I didn't think it would actually happen or rather I didn't think the response to this article would be the way that I imagined it to be. So for those of you who are new to the internet, there is this website that you should probably be aware of known as Reddit. Now for those of you who don't Reddit often, Reddit is a website that has a bunch of forums or subreddits which follow a particular theme. For example, there are subreddits for things like anime, movies, games, and pretty much anything you can think of. There's even one for the Super Bowl, or what you think is the Super Bowl, but it's actually a page about superb owls. I love the internet sometimes. But the article that was released focuses on the music subreddit. Now, I've been on the music subreddit a few times, and as you can imagine, it is a subreddit where people share all sorts of different music. A lot of people joke that the music subreddit is like the hipster birthplace, which I won't exactly deny, but it pretty much is a place where people come to share their music and to pretty much bash on other people for having subjectively shitty tastes. Hey, that sounds really familiar. I'm sure there's like another community that does exactly the same thing. But the news comes that last week the music subreddit got hacked by somebody. And I guess the hacker was a fellow otaku or some kind of anime lover because he decided to go about and post a bunch of anime music into the music subreddit. Now for those of you wondering, at this point the music subreddit has never stepped foot into anime whatsoever. Like, it's not following any kind of other subculture like anime or games or whatever, this is just purely music. So you think that a community that listens to such obscure bands like King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard or the incredible expanding mindfuck, at this point I'm just showing how much of a fucking music nerd I am, would even remotely take a liking to this kind of anime music. Bro, what the fuck is this anime music bullshit? Get J-pop? J-Rock? J-Rap? J what the? J, get the fuck out of here. That's what I initially thought the reaction would be, but surprisingly, they fucking love it. In fact, after the original moderator recovered the subreddit, he was actually kind enough to just keep all the posts that the hacker had put up because there was such a positive reaction. And mind you, this isn't exactly a small niche subreddit. In fact, there are 13 million subscribers to this music subreddit. So there was very easily a big chance that a bunch of people were gonna go and hate on this anime music. But to the contrary, a lot of them fucking loved it. In fact, some members of the music subreddit actually went out and posted their ideas and kind of discovery on the wealth of anime music and even went to set up monthly or weekly events to go and discover more anime music. And as a fellow member of not only the anime community but also the music subreddit, I could not be happier with the results. In fact, on this particular article by Goboyana, which I'll link in the description below, there was a post from a fellow Redditor that expressed his falling in love with anime music. Real talk, the last two hours I've discovered more great music than the last two years I've browsed r slash music. Don't get me wrong, r slash music is a great place for everything music, but recently when I've browsed, I seem to get spiraled into new releases, popular non-pop and nostalgia more than experiencing different genres and amazing music I've never Never heard before. This anime boogaloo, I fucking love that word, that's happened has made me so excited. It's like I'm 14 again discovering Offspring or Outcast. That feeling of holy shit when I hear a great song for the first time is the best. And I think that's just so fucking awesome to think that a rather closed or very, you know, prejudged community like the music subreddit would be okay with discovering anime music, which up until that point was a genre that a lot of people had never heard of before. Mind you, this is a subreddit that is very, very judging on new releases. Like if a new band or a new song comes out, then a lot of people will go and attack it if they hate it. And then I kind of thought to myself and wanted to explore in a video, to what level of importance is music in anime? Because it seems that while a lot of people are quite cool with things like openings and endings, I feel a lot of people neglect anime soundtracks. In fact, I think a lot of people kind of neglect the power that a soundtrack has in any kind of film entertainment medium. I mean, sure, you can listen to things like Tank, the Cowboy Bebop opening, and instantly think, oh yeah, that's Cowboy Bebop, aka that is a great show. You can get a lot of people into certain series by just showing some openings or some great endings which you recommend. I personally have done a lot of that. I got a lot of my friends into shows like Fully 
Cooley, Serial Experiments Lane, Suzumiya Haruhi, and even mainstream shows like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, just from showing them the endings or openings from those shows. But I feel a lot of people also neglect the power that a soundtrack has. A lot of people have asked me in the past, Joey, what are your favorite anime soundtracks? There are mainly three series that I think of when I think of fantastic soundtracks. Samurai Champloo, Clan Ad, and Fully Cooley. And whether this may be a coincidence or not, all three of these series are also one of my favorite series of all time. I think there's really a special bonding between you and a particular series. When you can go out and say that you remember songs, not just openings and endings, but actual like OST, like an original soundtrack track from a particular series. Not only does a good soundtrack bring some sort of emotion to when you are watching a particular scene from that anime that uses a particular track, but it also, again, brings about a memory. When you hear that soundtrack, you think back to a particular scene, or you think back to a particular emotion, which you developed because you were so emotionally attached to the show. You don't have to look at any pictures, you don't have to look at any visuals, which is weird considering that anime is mostly a visual medium. And it's so easy to fuck up a soundtrack, especially in anime. Like, here's a question for you. Think back to the last anime that you watched. Whether that be a new show, an old show, a one you watched five years ago because you hadn't seen anime in five years, or a one that you just finished today. Now, you probably remember either the opening or the ending or both because these kinds of tracks are highlighted within the show so you're kind of forced to listen to it now i'm sure a lot of you can sing either the opening or the ending but think of that series and think of any piece of music other than the opening and ending can you sing it if you can't sing it then can you remember it and can you remember the emotion you felt when you first heard it i'm just spitballing here but i think a lot of you would have said no especially in modern anime soundtracks are kind of neglected not a lot of effort is put into soundtracks anymore and they're just kind of treated as white noise as so the scene that you're watching isn't awkward in complete silence of course some series and some scenes take that silence and awkwardness to its own effect but but that's another story. I feel that a lot of series, especially in music, really focus on just the opening or just the ending. And they don't realize how important audio cues are in anime as much as visual cues are. For example, one of my other favorite anime series, because I have a lot of them, is Shinsekai Yori. Now, of course, this series doesn't have an opening, but it does have an ending, which is just genius. But I feel that that show really, really took care of its soundtrack and used audio in the correct way. Because if you have seen Shinsekai Yori, then you most likely heard of this piece of music. When I first heard that piece of music in the show, I thought, whoa, that is really, really creepy. Kind of nice, but also kind of ominous. It really sets up a mood for the entire series. You don't need to listen to an entire opening. All you need to do is listen to this one piece of music, and that immediately gets ingrained in your head. It immediately ingrains some kind of emotion. And the brilliant thing about Shinsekai Yori, or rather that piece of music, is that they play it more than once. Because when they first play that piece of music and it sets you up with an ominous feeling or some kind of scared and tense emotion, it then becomes a Pavlovian effect. The next time you hear that particular song in the next episode or maybe the next couple of episodes, the moment you hear that piece of music, that emotion comes rushing back to you. You don't even need to see anything. It could be a black screen and the moment you hear that piece of music, you know some shit's about to go down. I think that is a brilliant way to use sound and music in anime and I'm really disappointed that not a lot more series can do this. This is also one of the reasons why I think Maida Jun is a brilliant composer. In the case with all the series that he composed, of course he composed a lot of the openings and the endings which are beautiful on their own, but I feel the same amount of care was put into a lot of 
of his other songs within the series. There are countless pieces of music in Clanad which just evoke an emotion immediately. Because not only does that piece of music first come on coupled with a really powerful or memorable scene, but they play it more than once and they take the effort to really accentuate that. Meanwhile, there are a lot of other shows I feel that kind of just let the music play in the background and sometimes you don't even hear the music. Go to any series that you thought was generic or mediocre or whatever and listen to a particular scene. Now watch that scene again, but turn the music off. If you evoke the same amount of emotion from both of those scenes with one the music turned on and the other the music turned off, then I think that that is a bad soundtrack. Because music is supposed to evoke some kind of emotion, whether that be a happy emotion, excited emotion, scared, angry, whatever it is. If music didn't evoke any kind of emotion, then we might as well make anime and films and movies with no music at all. And the same goes for this subreddit discovering anime music for the first time. If good openings, endings, and pieces in a soundtrack didn't evoke any kind of emotion in the listener, then I don't think the music subreddit would have gotten into anime music as much as they did. But the thing is, a lot of anime series do really take care of their openings and endings and soundtracks. If they can take care of all three, then I think that is a brilliant series. And coincidentally, again, a lot of my favorite series of all time just so happen to really take care of all three. But hey, this might be just me. I really, really value music just in general, but also in other entertainment mediums. And it seems that the anime subreddit does too, because the pieces of music, especially that went huge, are series that are a lot of people consider classics. The opening to Cowboy B, Bob, God knows from the melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi, the rare eye circulation mix for some reason. Yeah, now that I look at the list, I'm not too sure if everyone is unanimously cool with anime music, especially since one of the more popular pieces of music that was going around the anime subreddit was the Cory in the House opening. God damn it, Reddit. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. What do you see in music in anime? Do you think it is just as important as I put it out? Or do you think, again, it is just something that we really shouldn't look deep into? Also, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite opening, your favorite ending, what is your favorite anime soundtrack, and what do you think is the level of importance in music in anime? Obviously, guys, let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.